Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another video for you guys. And the new iPhone is out. Or should I say the new iPhones? That's right guys, Apple officially launched their new iPhones. The keynote was super good and they announced a bunch of super cool things and super cool items. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're just gonna summarize the whole keynote. You guys don't have to watch an hour long video by Apple. Instead you just watch this video and find out all the new tea. So let's jump straight into it. The iPhone 12 is here guys. I was so shook at the design. They went back to the square design instead of like a more rounder iPhone, which I'm actually living for. I think it looks super dope. And they actually came out with two sizes in the iPhone 12. Not bigger, but smaller. So they have the iPhone 12, which is 6.1 inches for $799. Then they also have the iPhone 12 mini, which is 5.4 inches and is $699. I did not think they were gonna go smaller on iPhones, but hey, that's cool. <laughs> I guess if you guys are into like the smaller iPhone, something that you can actually like reach all the way across, then this is the one for you. And I just think it's super cool that they came out with the smaller iPhone. I think it's gonna be like a little baby phone. You know, little baby phone. So the biggest, biggest thing that they advertised on this new keynote is the 5G speed, which pretty much means that instead of 4G, like with your internet download stuff, it's 5G, which is even faster, which sounds really cool and all, but I think it's only for Verizon. If you don't work with Verizon and use that as your carrier, I don't think you're gonna be able to get the faster. So that's kind of a bummer. I don't think it'll work with like Cricut or like Sprint or anything like that. Of course, they advertise their new A14 chip, which is even faster, and we always love faster things. Faster, 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 faster. That's all we want in life, and they gave it to us. But of course, the like biggest thing you can tell from the iPhone 12 is the design. It looks so nice, I'm actually in love with it. And also, the new colors that it comes in. It comes in blue, red, green, white, and black, and they all look really nice. That's all I'm saying, new colors, we love to see it. We love to see it. Of course, they also advertise a better screen, which we all know Sarah needs because I drop my phone like 20,000 times a day. So a new tougher glass screen. Yes! I can drop my phone on the floor without cracking it. And it's advertised as four times tougher than the iPhone 11, I guess. It's also thinner, lighter, smaller, all of the good stuff. I feel like we all just like want like that super thin iPhone, so luckily they're getting thinner for us. Also, they are more spill resistant, which heaven knows Sarah needed a more spill resistant phone. Still not completely waterproof, but hey, we're getting there. We're getting there, right Apple? Able to download stuff faster, like watch YouTube faster, all of the stuff just faster, download music, all of that faster. If you have Verizon, of course. If you have Verizon, then this is very exciting news for you. The next thing they advertise is the Retina display, which for you guys who don't know what that means, it just means a nicer screen. So more colors, sharper pixels, all of the good stuff. So when you're on YouTube, you can see my videos even better. The next thing that they advertise on the iPhone 12 is better night capturing. So I don't know if you guys have ever tried to take a picture at night with the iPhone. It's actually kind of garbage. Like you can literally hardly see anything and the stupid night mode takes like five minutes to capture a picture. So hopefully this new iPhone 12 camera can capture things better at night. With the pictures that they advertise, it looks so bomb. So if my pictures don't look like that, we're gonna have a problem because that looks amazing. And it even shows that you can like capture the stars and stuff. So of course when we unbox this, we're gonna test out the camera. You already know. But the biggest thing, they really just wanted to push the night camera, the night mode on everything. It's gonna be better, it's gonna be brighter, it's gonna be sharper. So I'm praying that we can take these cute Instagram pictures at night, you know. And a lot of the main focus on Apple was always around the camera and that was no exception for this iPhone. They gave us so many footage of just really cool stuff that's shot on the iPhone. I swear it doesn't seem real that this footage is shot on an iPhone, but if it does, my Instagram stories, about to get blessed. <laughs> You're also gonna be able to record in 4K HDR with Dolby Vision, which I have no idea what that means. I don't think any of us know what that is, but apparently it's really good, so. <laughs> which pretty much means that we can now like edit our movies and stuff from our iPhone. So if you guys are into YouTube or film or anything like that, you can pretty much edit your, you can crop your video, you can edit it all from your phone, which is incredible, especially for a YouTuber. It's gonna be amazing. Of course, they advertise night vision selfies, which pretty much means that instead of a night vision camera, like on the outside of the camera you can now take one face forward so you can pretty much take a selfie of yourself at night and it'll look even better so that's good news the next thing that they advertise for the new iPhone 12 is MagSafe which pretty much is like a magnet on the back of the phone it's like snap-on cases snap-on wallet so they're also advertising a new wallet that's snap-on and a new iPhone case which the wallet is $60 and the iPhone case is $49 which is just so overpriced but I'm still gonna buy it anyways <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, the snap-on looks super cool and of course, you know, it's just new, so we love it. And the charging with the snap-on is supposed to be faster as well, so if you want to do wireless charging, you can put your phone on there, snap it on, and it's going to charge faster. The next thing that they announced is the HomePod Mini, which is $99, and it's pretty much like a Google or an Alexa, but for Apple. So I'm kind of with it though, I'm kind of with it. It's supposed to have really good speakers, it's supposed to sound really awesome, to be able to like tell Siri to like turn on your lights or turn on your fridge, whatever you want to do. And also, my favorite thing about the HomePod Mini is the intercoms. So if you and your family have like different ones in different rooms, you guys can say like, play on the intercom that the food's ready. And then you can pretty much tell your brothers that the food's ready. But let's move on to the iPhone 12 Pro because you already know iPhone's like iPhone 12 Pro Max, S-E-R-T-N. Introducing the iPhone, that, that's what we have. And of course, I love the Pro versions because they're even better than the iPhone 12s. Just slightly better, but better. And so they came out with two sizes for the Pro as well. There's the 6.1 inch, which is $1,000, and then the 6.7 inch, which is $1,100. And let me tell you, I want the biggest iPhone there. It, it, the bigger the screen I can watch Netflix, the better. That's all I'm saying. And of course, with the new iPhone 12, the iPhone 12 Pro comes with 5G, so faster, better, amazing. And this one also comes with tougher glass. And the iPhone 12 colors are gonna come in blue, gold, silver, and graphite. But the gold looks pretty darn snappy. It looks so much more gold this time. I don't know what it is, but they did something, and it's looking good. This iPhone is also supposedly 50% faster because we're all just wanna get on Instagram as fast as we can. There's also a new thing called LiDAR, which is pretty much like a light radar. So pretty much it can like pick up the whole room. Like it can literally tell where everything is placed. It's kind of almost like a VR type thing. I don't really know what I would use that for, but it's cool to know that I have it, right? The Pro camera is also supposed to be better than the 12, so like the best camera that you can get. It's gonna be auto, way better autofocus, so thank you for that. Thank you, Apple. It better be better at night. If we're not, I'm gonna get a return. I'm telling you now. It's also gonna be more stabilized. They have like a little stabilizer thing in there, so that way you can pretty much like take a bunch of bumpy videos and it's gonna come out more smooth. And the pictures are just overall supposed to be insane. Like I've seen the samples of what they look like and they look amazing. So if my Instagrams don't look like this, I don't want it. Your camera footage is gonna be filmed in Apple Pro Raw, which is, I don't even know what that means. But pretty much you can edit your photos and videos better, I guess. You can kind of adjust the colors in literally like every single way possible. So your Instagram pictures are just gonna look so fuego. Also, the iPhone 12 Pro is supposed to come with more storage. So literally the least amount of storage you can buy is 128. So more storage is even better. And of course, some things that were announced in the other keynote, which we didn't mention, is the new iPad Air and the new iPad Pro, new iPad everything. They look super cool. They come in like green, pink, and blue now and they look really good and I might have to cop that. Let me know in the comments if you want me to unbox that one because I will totally do that. And they also came out with a new Apple Watch which I just recently unboxed so if you guys want to go see that, go check it out. So overall, there's nothing really, really groundbreaking with the new iPhone other than it's just way faster. The camera's supposedly way better. There's new colors and the awesome design looks really cool so that's enough to make me buy it already. So this is the total lineup of all the new iPhones that they're going to have out for purchasing. The iPhone 11 of course got cheaper because a new iPhone just came out. But that's all of the biggest updates on the iPhone 12 that just got announced. We're going to pre-order it and we're going to unbox it. So make sure to subscribe so you guys want to see the new iPhone unboxing. And let me know down in the comments below, are you going to buy the new iPhone and what size? The little baby phone, the big ginormous phone, or just the regular iPhone 12? Hopefully you guys are as excited about this new iPhone as me and hopefully this video summed up the new iPhone for you and everything that happened in the keynote. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful. See you guys, next time. Why are you taking all my money, Apple? I'm broke. Yeah. Uh, uh. I wish I could tell you how we go, uh, man. And I wish I could tell you that I know my plan. I wish this was easy like a finger up. Uh, uh.